the, on this um, video, we're going to show you how to do simple tool touch off. We're going to touch off three tools: 100 degree face tool, a CNMG 80 degree for um, roughing, and a TNMG for finishing. So I just turned this machine on for the first time. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into manual data input, input data S, say 500 M3, right. Go into uh, manual, manual data input, S 500 M3, enter, cycle start. Turn it off. That put it in the computer. Manual. I'm going to go to the spindle on. So, first one I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here to tool data. And it's showing that I have T1 in the spindle. I'm going to rotate around. Or T. T12. Okay? So, let me bring the video camera over here. Well, let's first of all do this. Let's come in here. We're going to run this down with the arrows and get them close. All right. Here's my 100 degree face tool. Five thousandths per click. Do it on a thousandths per click. Two starts to touch. Come up on the X. Come in on the Z. Down on the X. Take the face touch. Come down, past zero, so there's no little on the end. Come up. Not move the X. We're going to hit the control panel where it says send spindle stop. First thing we're going to do, come over to the control. We're going to go into zero set. Get off of the X. Get to the Z. Calculate. Watch that number change. That number changed. Now we're going to go into tool data, tool number 12, we want that to also say zero because that's where we did the offset zero. So we're going to go set zero enter. Now that is zero, the same as our turret position zero. Next thing we're going to do, come over here. Because it's a 100 degree face tool, we don't need to know an exact X dimension. But that happens to be a two and a quarter bar stock. So what we're going to do is go turn the spindle back on without moving the Z. And then down to where the center of the radius on a 100 degree insert Close enough to this tool at the eyeball, right at the top edge, right up here at the top. We're going to come back to our control and our tool data. We're going to come over and highlight on tool 12 the X. We're going to go calculate 2.25. Enter. That number, oops, calculate 2.25, not 225. And it says that from the center line we are up. 9.589. That way it knows where that tool is and how far extended it is. Now, we're going to go up so we can do a turret change. We're going to hit turret tool index. Now we're on number one. We're going to arrow down to number one, put it on a Z. We're going to come down, put it on a Z on, on the dial. Yes, make a witness mark. 
up on the X. We're going to come over to the Z and we're going to go calculate right. It moved over two thousandths and one tenth. Come over to the X. We're going to come down here. And bring the X down. Bring the Z over so it's hanging up over the material. Come down to where it makes a witness mark. Come over on the Z. Come out on the Z. Down the X a little bit, so we can make a, make a skin cut, pick it all up. It looks like it's all cleaned up. Do not change the X. Use your arrow key, move it out of the way, spindle stop. Come over and measure that. And it measures 2.103. Come over on the control. Come up to the X on tool one. Calculate 2.203. Enter. Barely changed. I'm out on the turret, bring it up so we can do a tool change. We're going to go to tool number two. Dial, tool index button, rotates the turret. Turn the spindle on. Come on down until it's close. Bring this down to tool number one. We're going to set the Z first. Okay? On the Z, we're going to bring it in. It's too high. Touch the X button, the index, and the X zero. Change it to Z. Come in. So the bit touches. That's my witness mark. Come up on the X. Come over to my control. Come over to the X on tool number two. The last calculation says 2.203. So we're going to take the number 2 and go calculate. 2.203. Enter. Okay. Now, we're going to come over on the Z. We're going to bring it over the X. We're going to come down on the X. Just make a witness point. That's the witness mark on the X. Again, calculate 2.203 enter. And what I've did is I did it for the Z. So now what we're gonna we've made a mistake. We're gonna come down, put it on the Z, bring the cursor to the Z. Again, come in until it just touches makes a witness mark. Come up on the control. Cursor's on the Z for tool number two. Calculate right. Okay? So that we have set the face for, for that is our reference point. Same as the zero offset for the turret. That's number one. It's a face tool. The roughing tool, two thousandths out, three thousandths out on the on that. There's our X set, X set for that an X set for tool number 12. It's that simple. Now the next thing we're going to do is that we know on tool number 12 that that's a number 2 radius which is a 64th or 32nd. So we're going to take it on the nose radius for the X and the Z we're going to go set 0.031 right. Come over to the next one. Set 0.031 enter. Cursor down and brings us up there. We know that our rougher is a Number two radius, set, 0.031, enter. 
set, 0 0.031, enter. Come down to 0 0.031 on the X, that one changed, so we're gonna go set, 0 0.031. Oops, set, 0 0.031. Now they all have a number two radius for those three tools. That's all we need to do to do tool set offs for those OD tools.